We are losing our country because of big tech election interference. And I am pleading with the Republican Party to please start taking this issue seriously. Please. Because the American people deserve representation. And that's a that's why I ran for Congress in 2020. It's why I ran for Congress in 2022. And it's why I'm going to keep fighting for all of you. Far right extremist Laura Loomer keeps running for Congress and keeps losing. And that's probably the reason why she's teary eyed in that. Well, it should have been a concession speech, but she's refusing to concede. Now, Loomer ran for Florida's 11th congressional district and she lost. She lost the race, but she claims that she did not lose and she's refusing to concede. So here's more on her not so concession speech. She said, quote, I'm not conceding because I'm a winner. And the reality is our Republican Party is broken to its core. Mm -hmm. What we have done tonight has really honestly shocked the nation. I didn't even know she was running, like, but anyway. We have further exposed the corruption within our own feckless, cowardly Republican Party. And that is exactly the reason why I decided to run against a rhino Republican, a Republican in name only Republican, Daniel Webster. Do nothing Daniel Webster, she says. And just to give you a sense of how the election turned out, Webster did in fact beat Loomer in the primary. It wasn't a landslide, which is concerning, <laughs> but <laughs> he won 51.1% of the vote, whereas she won 44.2% of the vote. It's it's definitely uncomfortable to consider the fact that 44.2% of voters who participated in this election in Florida's 11th district think that she's sane. <laughs> I mean, forget a good representative, but like she's insane. And here she is toasting with Nick Fuentes last night. One final video for you. Have you had this before, Laura? No, I haven't. It's a delicacy. Talking about it, the official drink of America first. To the hostile takeover of the Republican Party. Absolutely. So, John, we're just in this era of Republican candidates who refuse to concede because that's it. I mean. Trump has opened the floodgates. You just allege that there's election fraud without providing any evidence. I mean, this is the night of the election. So she has no evidence of anything, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. She's already blaming big tech for interfering and throwing the election. Because they, they shadow banned her polls. I, I, don't, I don't even know and I doubt she knows what she means, but she knows that she's supposed to say it was stolen. She knows that saying it's stolen with no evidence is not going to lose her any of her unearned respect on the right. And and honestly, are we even sure that if it hadn't been flipped the other way that do nothing Daniel Webster wouldn't be claiming that the election was stolen? Like it's entirely possible, I don't know for sure. But yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of issues here. The fact that she got 44% that is just deeply embarrassing. Like there are a lot of candidates on the right that we would disagree with on a lot of issues, a lot. But as you said, you look into Laura Loomer's eyes and she is out of her GD mind. There, you, you cannot be a sane, rational person and look in her eyes and not know that there is something fundamentally wrong with this person. Now there is nothing fundamentally wrong with having mental issues. There should be far more support and understanding, less stigma, more resources for people to be able to treat and all that for their mental issues. But we also have to understand that when she's running around with Nick Fuentes, who openly just uses the N-word on his streams, um, when she's talking about how uh, you know 50 Muslims being gunned down in Christchurch isn't anything we should care about, her being banned from Twitter is more important. Uh, that's pretty bad when she's talking about white history being destroyed. Though this is this person makes Marjorie Green seem like someone maybe you could tolerate a brief conversation with by comparison. And and she got 44%. And and maybe in two years or in four years, it'll be even more. As I've been saying about Marjorie Green for like two years now, the thing that's always bothered me most about her is not her, but what she represents. She is a flag being raised for every crazy person in the country that you can have a spot in Congress. And some of them might get weeded out, but more and more of them are gonna make it in there. And and Laura Loomer, like Marjorie Green, is a true believer. She's not like Lauren Boebert where she's like playing it up for the camera. She really believes this stuff. 
Yeah, she does. Uh, and look, if it makes you feel any better, primary races usually don't yield a big voter turnout. So it's not 44% of people in the district, just 44% yeah. who voted.